Hi, I'm Mary Lee, and I'm a programming writer on the SharePoint Developer Documentation Team. In this video, I'll demonstrate how SharePoint developers can use a Microsoft SharePoint 2010 Reference Software Developer Kit. You can use the SharePoint 2010 SDK to learn about developing SharePoint solutions. This SDK contains documentation, IntelliSense files, and code samples that you can view as example projects or use as building blocks to help you start your own projects. First, I'll show you the offline documentation in the CHM file. You can access the CHM file on the rest of the SDK from the Start menu. Then you can use the Table of Contents, Index, Search, or Favorites tab to find content. You can browse the Table of Contents by topic title to find the area that you're looking for. For example, to find general information about features, I'll click Building Block Features in the TOC to get an overview of the object model and view the XML schema. To find all topics about a subject area, I can avoid navigating through several levels of the TOC by using the index. I'll type Features and find the relevant topics. Once I look at this topic, I can scan the index keywords to see that I actually want a topic about the object model for features. I can also use search to find topics. To find updated content, I'll search for the phrase content update. This phrase is located in all the topics that have been updated, so it's a good way to find updated content. The search returns 13 topics, and when I open the first topic, the Change History section shows that this topic had been updated in July 2010. To save links to topics for future reference, I can save a topic in the Favorites tab. I can see that I've previously saved a link to the feature.xml files topic. When I open this topic, this leads me straight to the XML schema for features. That was an overview of the offline SharePoint documentation in the CHM file. Next, I'll open the welcome guide, which explains how to install the IntelliSense files and contains links to the code examples. To start, I'll look at the installation locations and instructions. I can see that I can open the offline CHM documentation from here as well. In addition, I can view the README file, which contains instructions for installing the IntelliSense files. The instructions explain that to update IntelliSense, you must copy a number of XML files to four different folders. Finally, I'll look at the code samples. By looking at the names of the samples, I can select the code that I want to view. In this case, the content type based metadata sample catches my eye, so I'll open the enterprise content management samples. I'll start by extracting the samples to the Visual Studio Projects folder in the Documents folder. Now I can open the sample in Visual Studio 2010. First, I need to set the site URL property so that the project can use a local SharePoint server during debugging. Then I can open the code file for this event receiver. I can use IntelliSense to find out what other properties are on this content type. When I type ct. Dot, a drop-down menu appears that shows the methods and properties. A tooltip describes the method or property as well. Then to learn about the SP content type ID, I can press F1 to get more information in the MSDN library. The default page takes me to the online Windows SharePoint Services 3 documentation, but I can use the ambiguator to select the SharePoint 2010 documentation. I can also change the view of the MSDN library to the classic view and the script free view. I can install the latest content from the web to my development computer and change the F1 settings in Visual Studio to use the offline MSDN library. When I click Add next to SharePoint 2010 SDK, the Help Library Manager dialog box, shows that there is an update pending. However, I also have to click Update to start installing the documentation. When I go back to press F1 on SP Content Type ID, I can see the topic open through the Help Library agent on the local web server. I have demonstrated how you can use the Table of Contents, Index, Search, and Favorites tab to find content in the CHM file. 
I've also shown you the instructions for updating the IntelliSense files available while coding. You can also use F1 to find more information about a specific class or namespace while you are writing code. All of this is available in the SharePoint SDK Help, in addition to more than 30 code samples. You can find other resources such as technical articles, samples, blogs, and videos on the SharePoint Developer Center. Just go to msdn.com SharePoint.